As the manna was given to the children of Israel fresh on a daily basis, this is your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nugis. Lift him up, page 222. The shepherd calls his sheep by name. July 27th. He that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. John 10, 2, and 3. The path of the upright is the path of peace. It is so plain that the humble, God-fearing man can walk in it without stumbling and without making crooked paths. It is a narrow path, but men of different temperaments can walk side by side if they but follow the captain of their salvation. Those who wish to carry along all their evil traits and selfish habits cannot walk in this path for it is too straight and narrow. What pains the great shepherd takes to call his sheep by name and invite them to follow in his footsteps. He seeks the wandering. He flashes the light from his word to show them their peril. He speaks to them from heaven in warning and reproofs and in invitations to return to the right path. He seeks to help the erring by his presence and to lift them when they fall. But many have followed the path of sin so long that they will not hear the voice of Jesus. They leave all that can give them rest and security, yield themselves up to a false guide, and presumptuously hurry on in blind self-confidence, going further and further from light and peace, from happiness and rest. The cross of Christ is our only hope. It reveals to us the greatness of our Father's love and the fact that the majesty of heaven submitted to insult, mockery, humiliation, and suffering for the joy of seeing perishing souls saved in his kingdom. If you love your children, let it be your chief study to prepare them for the future immortal life. Work while it is day, redeem the time, and win the crown of immortal glory. Save yourselves in your household, for the salvation of the soul is precious. Many a husband and father might learn a helpful lesson from the carefulness of the faithful shepherd. Jacob, when urged to undertake a rapid and difficult journey, made answer, The children are tender, and the flocks and herds with young are with me. And if men should overdrive them one day, all the flock will die. I will lead on softly, according to the cattle that goeth before me, and the children be able to endure. Genesis 33, 13 and 14. In life's toilsome way, let the husband and father lead on softly as the companion of his journey is able to endure. Amidst the world's eager rush for wealth and power, let him learn to stay his steps, to comfort and to support one who is called to walk by his side. This has been an inspiring devotional with Sister Tanya Nugues.